Okay, today guys, a true special video for a friend of mine. I'm going to show you how to set up your TP-Link or Nano Router with your open spot so that you can connect to your radio in the car, the mobile, just um, anywhere where you don't have access to a repeater or you know, you can just plug your open spot into the wall and get internet. So we're going to use the TP link. So a friend of mine's having problems setting his up. So I thought I would make a video and show exactly how to do that. The first thing you're going to want to do is plug up your, your nano router, hook up your networking cable to a computer so that you can use the computer to get into this box because we have to put the nano router into client mode. So, once you get that connected, you're going to type in uh, your owner's manual should have an address. This particular one is tplinkwifi.net. So once you type that into your browser and hit enter, it'll take you right to the screen for this so you can log in. And the password is um, the default password on this one. Some passwords might be different, but this particular one is admin for the username and the password. Type that in, hit enter, and it'll bring you to the home screen inside the box. Now, the first thing you want to do is go into operation mode and click client. Hit save. Now that's going to put this box into client mode because that's the first thing we got to do. So now we're going to put it into it's going into um, client mode and right now it's rebooting. So we'll wait for it to do that. Once it reboots, we'll um, we'll go on through the rest of the process. Boom a doo doo, come on. That's about 80%. Just give it a second. It'll be done and we can continue. Alright, now it's rebooted. Now it took us back to the screen. We have to type in our credentials again. Admin for the username. Admin for the password. That's A-D-M-I-N. But that's only on this particular device. Your device might have different credentials. So look in your owner's manual and you should be able to get the information to log in. Okay, now we're in client mode. Now, I don't know if I can turn this so you might can see it a little bit better. Okay, now that we're in client mode, first thing we're going to do is we want to go in. And is what I did was I hit quick setup. So click quick setup, hit next, client mode is checked, hit next, okay right now it's scanning for wireless devices, so the first thing before you do that you want to turn on your Wi-Fi hotspot in your phone, so mobile hotspot, turn that on, that is on, and I have my hotspot set up to be open. I don't have any password or anything right here where it says security. I have open checked on mine. So I'll hit save. Continue. Everything is saved. Alright, my Wi-Fi hotspot is on. Okay, now we'll just hit refresh again because I didn't have it turned on. Okay, now it's scanning again. It's looking for wireless internet. Okay, now on the list here, you'll see your phone. My phone is showing up. It says Verizon. So I will put a check next to that one. I will hit next. Okay, it's asking me, do I want any security? I've got no security selected. I will hit next again. Just these screens are just basic. So next again. It says, congratulations, your device is now connected to the internet, blah, 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 blah. Scroll down and hit 
finish. Now it's going to do its thing. I guess it's saving. Okay, it's finished. It's done. Here on the status screen, it tells me I'm in client mode and I'm connected to my hotspot. So now I'm going to take my, I'm going to unplug my networking cable because I don't need it plugged to my computer. And right now at this point, my router is connected to the internet on my phone. So I will plug up my network cable to my box. I will plug the other end into my Shark RF. I will turn on the Shark and let it boot up. Open spot profile zero ready. Give it just a minute. It takes a minute to connect. Go through the various channels. All right, now we have all. Open spot connected to Brandmeister three one zero two. Okay, you heard my radio. It says everything's connected. On your status light, we have green, which is means we're good to go. Right now we can we can talk on it. I'm using the internet off of my cell phone. So let, let's uh, let's see if we can rouse up anybody. KG four VDZ testing. Open spot, Wi-Fi, hotspot. If anybody comes back. Sometimes uh, people are around, sometimes they're not. It being a... Yep, somebody tried to, but... I don't know if somebody tried to come back to me or not, but you were uh, just packets. KG4VDZ testing. Let's see if we get a response. If we don't, we'll move on. KG4ZDG, AG5AT sounds just fine. Okay, alright. I was uh, making a YouTube video showing... Showing some guys how to hook the open spot up to the um, Wi-Fi hotspot with the little router. So I'm uh, just testing it here. All right. Appreciate everything and uh, seven threes and uh, enjoy your day. These threes uh, handles August like the month, uh, Jason. AG five eighteen. Okay. Thank you, August. I appreciate it. All right. Just it's uh just that easy guys. But I know for some of you it can be a little hard, so that's why I made the video. The main thing is just make sure your nano router is in client mode. Some companies call it bridge mode, but in this particular one it's client mode. You got your Wi-Fi hotspot turned on. Just go into the software and quick setup. Make sure you're in client mode and it'll go through it. Pick out your phone, check it, and just walk. Just go right through the steps that I showed you. So hopefully this will work. If it don't, let me know and I'll maybe I'll make another I'll make another video or something. Maybe we'll pull. I don't have a boom or anything that I can show you my screen. But I'm sure I could get something fixed up and um, I could show you the screen and walk you through the steps. You can see here on the left, right here, quick setup. Just hit quick setup and it'll walk you through it. Make sure you select client mode and um, it'll, um, it'll scan. It'll pull up a list of all the available networks. Pick out your, your hotspot, your phone check it and hit next and next all the way to the end and click finished and um, plug up your router and uh, that's it for my um, open spot you can see I've got a small this it, it looks like a mess I haven't put a cover on it but this is a battery pack that I built so it's um, it's stacked with batteries as you can see these are lithium batteries I've got a small solar charger here on the top and it's just a um, 
little board. I took a, um, a battery pack and took it apart because it was junk. So I um, used the board out of it, the charge controller board. And I used the solar panel and um, I added two extra batteries. As you can see, this has got three batteries in it. So it'll run my hotspot and my phone for, gosh, I don't know, probably all day. It's really, it's really got great um, capacity. So I built that to run my open spot out in the field and to run my um, little nano router. I've got two USB ports on it so I can plug in two devices at the same time. So one goes to this and then the other goes to this. And that's how I, that's how I power it. But other than that, guys, that's it. You guys can get it. I got um, I got confidence in you. you can hey, for mobile, mobile. Somebody in the mobile. All right, guys. Seven threes, and I hope the video. Uh oh, I've got paint on the wife's laptop. She will kill me. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy the video, and I've got more videos coming. But um, I want to get the I wanted to get this one posted up real quick for Jim because he was having problems getting this set up. Jim, if I was a little closer. I'd um, come right over and set it up for you. Wouldn't take um, 10 minutes. But anyway, 7 threes, guys. Enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more more videos, you know, please subscribe and um, like my videos and um, all that good stuff. So that um, I know you like them. So that um, I, I know to make more. <laughs> I got, oh, one more thing. I got one of these, which I know a lot of you have been playing with these little dongles and there is so much stuff that you can do with one of these it is amazing but anyway maybe i'll make a video on that next and i've got a kenwood 520 that i'm getting ready to uh, throw on the repair bench first i gotta clean the repair bench look at this it's <laughs> it's a god-awful mess but anyway I'm going to throw the 520 on there. We'll see if we can get it fixed. Right now it has no power, no receive, no transmit. When you turn it on, all that comes on is the meter light and the fan blows. But other than that, everything is, is dark. It's um, no display, no nothing, no receive, no transmit. Just it down. I've got a pretty good um, guess of where it's at. It's um, we got something to do with the AVR board, probably the diodes. So that's um, that's usually an issue with them. So, anyway, seven threes for now, guys, and um, enjoy the video. Until next time, we'll see you.